For more on the dollar and many other currency topics in the headlines today, Michael Wolfel, Managing Director Bank of New York Mellon, says positive news for the dollar could mean a sooner than expected rate hike. And we're pleased to welcome you in studio, Michael, today. Thank you for being here. Yes, good afternoon. So first, your reaction, your, your comment on Bernanke and the timing, what was behind him coming out and saying, we will raise rates once this economy looks like it's in fair shape. Yeah, very interesting that Bernanke is coming out and saying this, saying that perhaps we may be seeing a rate hike sooner than expected, uh, coming uh, within 24 hours of uh, his counterpart at the ECB, Jean-Claude Trichet, indicating uh, really that uh, they're, they're happy with interest rates uh, where they are for the time being. It suggests that perhaps the uh, ECB is not going to hike before the Fed. And this is a, a very uh, important uh, adjustment in terms of market sentiment uh, because it, it could suggest that uh, uh, this uh, expectation of the dollar continuing to decline uh, over the course of the next three months uh, you know, may be uh, a bit ahead of itself. These verbal interventions from Trichet and today from Bernanke, do you think it's a result of people concerned about the U.S. dollar's weakness of late, putting pressure perhaps on these leaders? There has been, uh, uh, without a doubt, concern about dollar weakness expressed over the course of this year, whether or not you're talking about China. Russia and the other BRIC nations, whether you talk about uh, the uh, European uh, members, uh, particularly uh, Germany and France, uh, which uh, look towards a, uh, a weak euro to be able to export their exports to the U.S. and uh, elsewhere. Uh, we had U.S. trade data out this morning uh, indicating that uh, the uh, trade deficit with uh, with Germany actually improved somewhat over the course of uh, this this past month. But Michael, uh, as, as you mentioned and as Lori just mentioned too, a lot of this is tied to interest rate movements here in the U.S. But was it Mr. Bernanke between a rock and a hard place? You raise the rates too soon, the recovery stalls, raise it too late, inflationary pressures start to creep in. Well, inflation is a concern, certainly, and with quantitative easing that the Fed has engaged in uh, amidst emergency conditions, we have to make sure that conditions, once we've uh, stabilized the economy, and arguably the economy uh, looks to be stabilizing right now, it, it's, we're in the U, shape, U part of the U-shaped recovery. What's your metric and, for that, month over month over month? Is that what you're looking yeah. at? Yeah, I, I mean, certainly uh, inflation uh, remains a concern, and having as much liquidity uh, right now in the system as, as we do is, is potentially hazardous. Uh, for, for inflation uh, once the economy begins to uh, recover. And, and I think that really private demand is, is still a bit weak. It's, it's too weak to begin to drive the U.S. economy right now. And we do need to maintain monetary and fiscal stimulus. That was one of the points made at the G20 meeting recently, uh, that all members will maintain uh, uh, stimulus uh, uh, measures uh, for the time being. Uh, however, yes, I, I think in terms of year-on-year, uh, -year, once you see uh, the inflation level on a year-on-year basis, uh, uh, back towards uh, uh, one, one to three uh, percent, that's when I think that you, you really have to look towards normalizing uh, and, and normalizing not at a gradual pace, but at a, at a quicker pace than we're probably prepared for. One more question on Bernanke. I'm just curious. So how much dollar support did Bernanke provide today? Well, is this a, a reverse in trend? Will the dollar continue to build on the gains today? Well, the interesting thing about this, Lori, is Bernanke did not say anything unique. Uh, our uh, Fed governors have been saying this uh, pretty much all along for the last several months. Uh, in, but uh, I think what's important is that it comes on the heels of some very dovish, dovish comments on behalf of Jean-Claude Trichet at the ECB. And again, it, it really, I, I think, underscores the fact that the ECB does not want to see uh, a, a, uh, the, the euro dollar back above 150 headed towards uh, record highs uh, at 160, let's say by early next year. Uh, rather, uh, with the Fed potentially hiking uh, at the same time as the ECB or, or ahead, it could be support for the U.S. dollar.